hello children good morning welcome you all this is our science class today we are going to learn changes around us in last lesson changes around us change is the transition of a substance from one form to another we see many changes around us for example we see changes like day and night and summer and winter and then we also see some changes in objects for example growth of a tree ripening of fruits falling of leaves or some of the examples taking place around us you can observe changes in you also children your height and weight increase hair and nail grow and you have grown up as a whole compared to last year so these are the changes taking place in this lesson we are going to learn this only children these changes can be classified into two types reversible changes and irreversible changes first we'll move on to reversible changes changes we can be reversed or called reversible changes for example if you keep water in the freezer for some time it is transformed into ice if it is taken out it becomes water again right so this is a reversible change the next one irreversible changes changes which cannot be reversed or called irreversible changes for example if you if you burn a piece of paper it burn and turn into ash it cannot be become paper again so this is on examples of irreversible changes see irreversible changes are also known as permanent changes for the some process like heating burning mixing and boring causes permanent changes okay children we'll do two activities listen take on elastic band and stretch it into the maximum now release it what do you observe the elastic band came back to the normal position so that is reversible change correct then cut it now into two pieces can you get the band back again no we can't get the band back again so this is called as irreversible changes you understand children then let's see and one more activity let's do, do one more activity take a balloon and blow air in, into it you can see that the shape and size of the balloon is changed now let the air escape from the balloon what do you observe now yes we get the balloon back correct right? so this changes is called as reversible changes the same balloon blow it its full size and break it with the help with the help of the pin means it is burst so can you get the balloon back no we can't get the balloon back so this process is called as irreversible process correct children so from these activities we can observe some difference between irreversible changes and reversible changes so now we are going to see some difference between reversible changes and irreversible changes first we will see reversible changes a substance can turn to it original state that means original position that is called as reversible irreversible means a substance which cannot change it original state that is called as irreversible state then second point the chemical properties of the substance do not change 
then irreversible changes the chemical properties of the substance will change then third point reversible changes most of the physical changes are reversible then irreversible changes all chemical changes are irreversible so these are the difference between reversible and irreversible changes reversible changes means a substance which can turn into original position that is called as reversible irreversible means a substance which cannot change to original state or position that is called as irreversible changes you understand children okay children we will meet in the next class thank you children